everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Samantha and I'm back with a brand new video. If you're new here and you've never been here before, I film videos on fashion, beauty, life, and just a whole lot of fun. So if you're into those topics, do hit the subscribe button below so you get to see the rest of my videos. Today's video, I wanted to share all of the neutral bags in my luxury collection. I actually realized that I have a lot of neutral bags in my collection, which makes sense because I think when it comes to accessorizing, and especially if you're like me who likes to wear color as well as neutral, it's just nice to have neutral bags in your collection because that way you get to wear it more often than not. If you're not new to my channel, you know that I keep a small yet mighty collection of bags that each serve an individual purpose, whether it's unique in its color, style, shape, usability, etc. Because I want to make sure that I wear my bags out. So despite having a lot of neutral bags, I do categorize browns as neutral as well and I'm excited to share them with you guys. So let's get to it. Of course, the stunning queen, my Chanel Vintage Classic Flap. This is in the medium size and I've had her for a couple years now. The prices in store are absolutely insane, but not just in store, also on the vintage market. So I'm really glad that I picked this beautiful milk tea Chanel flap when I did, when it was still quote unquote reasonably priced. But this is one of my favorite neutrals in my collection. It's also the only milk tea beige bag that I do have. So not only is she a Chanel, she's also just beautiful in terms of what I can style her with and I bring her out quite often. I used to not bring her out because I was so worried about getting her dirty, but she's one of my favorite items in my collection because of just the versatility and how classic it is. It's, I think it's important to have at least one Chanel in your designer collection. I'm really happy with her and I think she'll be in my closet for a very long time. The second neutral in my collection is of course, again, if you are an OG subscriber, you've seen so many videos of my very first bag in my luxury collection. This is the Prada re-edition in Safiano leather. And I went with the Safiano leather because the nylon just was not doing it for me. But also, I really love the style. It's something that's very classic. I mean, up till today, you still see so many variations in material as well as color in stores. So I'm really happy that I made the decision to get this when I did. I wear it so much. It's like either my first or my second most used bag in my collection because it's just, it fits so much. It looks small, but it holds its structure really nicely and I just love the versatility of it. I always bring this on vacations because I don't want to overpack the accessories and so the Prada Re-Edition is a really nice bag to bring when you're short on space because you can wear it oops, for an evening, a night out or you can take out the um, crossbody strap to wear it in a more casual manner. But if you want to watch more videos on this bag, I will link it up above so you can see the unboxing and the styling as well. Next up in my neutral luxury bag collection is my Poland Numero Un Nano. Surprise, surprise! And I love it because this bag stands very unique just in how it looks and it was my first Polette, so she's very special to me. So the only brown bag that I have in my collection, when I do want to gravitate to a brown purse, this is always the bag that I take out, which also makes it one of my most highly used bags in my collection as well. I actually haven't shown you guys this bag before, but it's not new. I've had it in my collection for some time. I actually don't know if I would consider Lambert luxury. I, I don't, but I figured I would show you a neutral black bag that I have in my collection anyway. It is vegan leather, but it is such a beautiful shape and it feels extremely soft. So. Side note, if you are looking for a more affordable bag that has this kilted look and a very soft leather-like butter feel, this bag is very cute. I don't know the exact name of this particular style, but I will figure that out for you and let you know. Next up, I have my beautiful YSL Lulu Puffer. She is absolutely stunning in this like cream, white buccal and I honestly fell in love with it as like the first time I saw it like I have a video of how I bought this bag and I till this day still think that she's one of the most beautiful purses in my collection and it's so perfect for summer like even what I'm wearing now I'm just wearing a simple white crop top with denim and I can bring this bag out and it would just shine it's so unique there is the buccal tweed in like a black as well but I just find like the white to be so 
it just like it's such a standout piece and it's still like so soft and as you can see from the sizing it holds a whole lot of stuff i have one more neutral bag in my collection it is the pull in sim i it's in my closet back there but i have so many videos about the Polen Sim bag, so if you are looking to have a watch on how the bag wears, it is a very useful bag for work, for school. It fits a whole lot. It's, bas it's basically like this giant empty hole. And so if you're looking for an easy to bring about bag that can fit a whole lot of stuff, it fits anything and everything you guys i have it in the taupe shade and it also goes with so many different outfits throughout this season i hope you guys enjoyed this short and sweet video i just really want to kind of go into my collection have a look at the bag that i do have and just film something fun for you guys because i know that you know when we get into the summer months it's you know if you like to wear a lot of color neutral accessories are just easier to pair with and so neutral bags as well are just easier to pair with as well and if you're going to spend a good amount of money on a designer bag you want to make sure that your bag is able to be worn out more often than you know once or twice a year and so when you have a bag that's beige or brown or black or white it makes things a lot easier if you have a minimalistic style or if you wear a lot of color to just mix and match things in your wardrobe anyway, thank you guys so much for tuning in i hope you enjoyed this video you can find me all over the socials i'm on instagram and tiktok and i'm here on youtube every single week see you in the next one bye